congratulations to Bronco and his team. Um, <clears throat> it was a heck of a football game out there today. Um, <clears throat> thanks to everybody that made the trip to support our kids. Um, it certainly was a battle. There was a lot of back and forth. Um, for a while there, it looked like nobody was going to score. Then it looked like everybody was going to score. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm really proud of our kids and their effort that they put on the field today. Played hard. We didn't always play well. Um, but they uh, accounted for themselves well and, and were competitors. Obviously, we made mistakes and on both sides of the ball. Um, but we also made some plays too. Gave it, we had a chance to win the game ultimately and, and didn't get it done. Abraham's question. Well, Caleb's an accomplished player, and he really wanted to go. And he just his back has been stoved up for the last couple of days. And well, we, you know, it's just one of those deals. He's been battling it the whole season. He's just <coughs> really been a a tough competitor the whole time, and wanted to play, just couldn't. Um, so that's obviously part of it. You know, Armani, I thought. Accounted for himself well. He's been getting a lot of reps. He's played. He's a heady, heady football player. Um, yeah, there for a, for a swing there, it was, it was kind of chunk play after chunk play. And, um, you know, they did some nice things in in coverage and won some one on one battles and you know, had a had one really nice play action off the quarterback run that was back across the field. It was pretty well designed. How did he play in the second half? I thought he played pretty well. Now they're competing his tail off. <clears throat> I and mean, we got in a situation there at the end of the game where we, everybody knows we're throwing the ball, and that's that's not our strength. So it was pretty pretty tough on him there. What did I tell him before or after? After I told him I loved him, I was proud of him. You know, um, I told him they competed. I told him uh, you know, we can take this event and go one of two ways. Right? Like it can draw us closer together, fuel our fire. We still have one more opportunity uh, to to uh, play play football together with this group. One more chance to, to, to play better against whoever we play. And you know, that, that needs to be our focus. You played some pretty good quarterback this year. I know you were complimentary of Perkins coming in. Did you live up to that bill in your estimation? He's a good player. I mean, he's athletic and big. And, um, Know, certainly has been the catalyst for their offensive success. That's that's for certain. He's a, he's a very accomplished player. Deserving deserving of the praise that he receives is what I should say. <clears throat> Questions for Coach? Do you have anything to compare this to for you that when you or, or, or you know, teams you've been with where they're in a streak or something that's happened that, that, that has that emotion it's like it can go one of two ways. I mean, do you have anything that you well, I mean, I've lost close games before. I mean, we just played a game that could have gone either way for the whole the whole afternoon, um, and and we've been in part of tough rivalry football games before. Yeah, but I mean, have I been anywhere that I'm not sure what you want me to to say on that? Like, well, what do you? <laughs> no, I've never been. No, we've never. No. I mean, we won 15 straight games at Memphis once. That was rough, but 
no, I'm, I've not been a part of that. No, I'm not. I'm just. I'm not sure how to answer the question. That's all I'm saying, Mike. Like, it was a tough, hard-fought game with a rivalry game with two teams that are at the top of the division. That, you know, there's not a big difference between the two. <clears throat> What was the difference from your team that kind of caused this <coughs> turnover issue of sorts? Well, you know, I'm trying to think of them, to be honest with you. Trey, um, I know, had one um, fighting for extra yards. You know, one of Hendon's was on third and 28. And I mean, they kind of forced the ball in there a little bit. But I don't know. They do a good job mixing up looks. They, they can create pressure. Um, and you know, you know, they did a good job taking the ball away. Coach, um, this is Hendon's first loss as a starter. What are some things that you take away from this game going forward? Well, I thought he was a competitor out there. I mean, you know, it's not always going to go your way. I mean, he's, he did a good job giving us a chance to win the ball game. I mean, I felt like he was, you know, particularly there in the third quarter. I mean, he was he was really playing well at a high level. So. Um, I mean, he'll learn that, that part of that position is you get too much praise when you win and too much lo uh, criticism when you l lose. A little bit, you know, it's just the way, the way the world works at that spot. But um, I'm awfully proud of him. I know that. I know he's out there competing, trying to win the ball game. It looked like he slipped. I mean, we don't have time to ask those guys those quite Like the ball, the ball's being spotted to play in 25 seconds. So I mean, I didn't have a conversation with him about it, but it looked like to me they sky kicked it and he fielded it and slipped. That's what it looked like to me. I didn't. I don't know. You guys may know better than I do, but that's what it looked like. I didn't ask him about it. You again, we talked about the importance of the screen for pass players, the importance of extending it. What would you like to, to see from your team? Yeah, I mean, we we got another game to play. You know, we've got to go, um, you know, find out what bowl game we're going to, um, finish finals, um, train for that, develop young people, and get ready to, uh, you know, hopefully have another opportunity to um, to play well together.